Did you know that scientists have recently discovered a 42,000 year old animal so perfectly preserved in ice that it still has liquid blood in its veins? These discoveries not only give us an unparalleled glimpse into the past of what the world was like tens of thousands of years ago, but also hold the genetic keys to bringing them back to life. These are five animals discovered frozen in time. First up, one of the smallest and yet most fearsome animals, a cub cave lion. Just a few years ago in 2017, locals of the Yakutia Republic in Serbia discovered something remarkable while exploring an area covered in thick ice, a Eurasian cave lion, an animal that people knew about only from fossils. The cub was named Sparta and was estimated to be only one to two months old at the time of its death. Scientists think that a mudslide split open the permafrost underneath where the cub was standing, causing her to fall to her death. Buried in ice, she was effectively mummified. Something that's crazy to think about is that her fur, skin, organs, and teeth remain almost exactly as they appeared on the day of her death, despite being tens of thousands of years old. Scientists have even coined it as the best preserved ice age animal ever found. A year later, another cub, named Boris, was found just 50 feet away from where Sparta was found. A radiocarbon analysis of the cub's skin, hair, and muscle showed that Sparta died approximately 28,000 years ago, while Boris died more than 43,000 years ago. This species was one of the largest lions ever, growing up to 5 feet tall and measuring 11 and a half feet in length. They would have preyed on reindeer, horses, and woolly mammoths that roam the same area. It's not certain why the species ultimately became extinct, but the prevailing theories focus on the dwindling food supplies in the region for such large carnivores as a result of the cooling climate and the effect of hunting pressure. But perhaps the most well-known preserved finding was the next animal, a prehistoric horse, that scientists were able to extract fresh blood from yeah, that's right, fresh liquid blood, marking it as the oldest liquid blood on record. A fall, unbelievably 42,000 years old, was found chilling in the permafrost of the Batagika crater in eastern Siberia. This little guy, found out to be a Lena horse, or Equus cabalus lenensis, was just one to two weeks old when it met its fate, drowning in mud. Luckily, the icy tomb preserved its entire body down to the hair and even some pee in the bladder. Lena horses were a stocky horse breed adapted to the harsh Siberian climate, possibly with shorter legs and a thicker coat compared to modern horses. Scientists are hoping to clone this foal along with mammoths and other ancient creatures from the Pleistocene epoch. They're focusing on muscle and organ tissue for DNA, but it's a tough challenge since DNA degrades over time, even in permafrost. But just like with mammoths, the dream is to use this DNA to create an embryo and implant it into a modern horse, basically bringing back the Lena horse. The road to Jurassic Park isn't exactly smooth though. Scientists have been trying for months to get good DNA from the fall with no luck. However, they'll keep trying because you gotta keep that hope alive. An animal that is likely to have more success in being brought back thanks to its near perfect preservation in some vital organs is the ancestor of the modern bison, the steppe bison. In 2011, in the Yana Indigurka lowland in Siberia, a tribe discovered the mummified remains of a steppe bison. The bison was remarkably intact. It had a complete heart, brain, and digestive system. Some of its organs have shrunk over time, but its blood vessels are in near perfect condition. The lack of fat around the bison abdomen suggests the animal died of starvation. This is the most complete steppe bison ever to be found and has allowed researchers to extensively study its brain, heart, and blood vessels, despite it being well over 9,000 years old. In 2022, researchers in Russia completed a necropsy on an 8,000-year-old steppe bison that is so well-preserved they believe it could be cloned using intact chromosomes extracted from the bison's skin, muscle, and wool. 
And since we know so much about bovid breeding, because it's something we've been doing with cows for generational time to make sure that we had really good meat to eat, this could become a reality in the not too distant future. But first, before we begin bringing back any animals frozen in time, I need to bring back some of my brain cells with a little magic mind. Okay, with that said, steppe bison weren't the only giants to roam the frozen plains. Sharing their icy entombment is the iconic mammoth, one of my favorite prehistoric creatures and an animal you may already be familiar with. Now you all know what a woolly mammoth is and what it looks like, so I'm not going to tell you what you already know. One of the best known preserved mammoths is the yucca mammoth. It was discovered in 2010 within the Siberian permafrost in Russia. The weird thing about this 39,000 year old mammoth was that it was mummified and it had the most intact mammoth brain ever found with folds and blood vessels still visible. Finding specimens like this is incredibly helpful in understanding the species. So something you guys need to know is we probably wouldn't even know that prehistoric and ice age animals like the mammoth and other species we talked about were even real if we didn't find specimens like these. Sure, there are plenty of cave drawings, but they could easily be attributed as cryptids or make-believe animals. It's only because we've been able to find fossil evidence and preserved specimens that we know these animals were real and actually existed. Studies conducted on the specimen's brain showed it to be very similar to modern day elephants and also led to researchers developing better ways of storing mammoths in the future when new ones are found. It's through DNA extraction from specimens such as these that woolly mammoths will be brought back to life by colossal biosciences in 2028. Now that we have successfully preserved DNA from mammoths, we're gearing up for the next step We'll take that DNA and apply some cutting edge CRISPR technology and splice it with DNA from the mammoth's closest living relative, the Asian elephant. With this, an embryo will be created that will be carefully implanted into a surrogate elephant and voila, a mammoth birth is on the horizon. I cannot wait. Anyway, speaking of things I can't wait for, I'm going bow fishing in Illinois on an adventure to shoot some invasive species and I'd love to take you on an all expenses paid adventure with me. All you have to do is like, comment and subscribe and you'll be entered to win on a really cool Forest Galante expedition. So hopefully you're the lucky winner. Now one of the coolest animals by far that has been so incredibly well preserved, the woolly rhino. Only a few adult woolly rhino remains have ever been discovered since the 18th century, but some nearly complete specimens have been found in recent years, helping show what this truly amazing behemoth really looked like. Historically, they were widely found in the Mammoth Steppe, a vast, cold, and dry region spanning from Spain to Siberia and from the Mediterranean all the way to China. In 2007, the receding ice in Siberia revealed the remains of a woolly rhino. They were once one of the most common large mammals to roam Eurasia, but because they lived around 40,000 years ago, it's very rare to find a preserved specimen. This individual, soon deemed to be a female, was found about 20 feet deep in the Koima River, earning this rhino the nickname the Koima Rhino. It is the only complete permafrost preserved adult woolly rhino known Although this specimen isn't really max size, it's speculated that adults reached a max size of 15 feet long and six feet high at the shoulder, very similar size to your modern white rhino. However, its closest living relative is actually the much smaller and critically endangered Sumatran rhino. These guys also can get quite hairy, with the calves covered in hair when they're born and frankly looking pretty ridiculous. From analyzing the body, they were able to determine that the woolly rhinos were herbivores that had a diet of low growing vegetation. But the remains of rhino calves are very rare and fragmented, and we thought that we knew little to nothing about the young animals. But this all changed in 2015, when 10,000 year old remains of a woolly rhino calf were found, the first young member of its species ever discovered. It was almost five feet long and about three feet high. Scientists think that woolly rhinos had a high infant mortality rate, 
which given we really haven't found that many, sort of makes sense. This juvenile was covered in thick hair and had two fist-sized horns tightly attached to its skull. But why? What's the benefit in finding prehistoric animals trapped in ice, you ask? Well, ice is amazing at preserving DNA. It allows DNA to survive for more than a million years, according to one article. Extracted DNA from these specimens allow us to better trace their lineage, their closest living relatives. This gives us an option to de-extinct these animals using genetic engineering technologies, which in my opinion are best used for those species that humans have directly affected at removing from the planet and are one of the reasons that you guys know I've talked about this a lot. I'm so aligned with and excited by the stuff that companies like Colossal Biosciences are doing. What do you guys think? What's your favorite Ice Age, Pleistocene animal, and which of these animals would you want to see brought back to life? Let me know in the comments, and uh, go ahead, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff.